Hi, I'm Micah Garrett. We're here today at a, getting ready for a pour and we're going to be doing a pre-pour inspection. So a couple things that we're going to be looking for today is just double checking all of our walls, making sure all of our bracing is ready, taking a look at all of our rebar, making sure we have any embedments and things that need to be completed, and just kind of getting a good double check to make sure we're 100% ready to go in the morning. So one of the big things we're going to check is making sure that all of our windows are braced properly. You'll notice here that we've really got these supported on either side. And I've tried to get spacing on these so that we can get good support across the whole window. So one of the biggest things I'm going to check is going around the whole structure and making sure all my doors and windows are properly braced, ready for the pour. Once I've checked all my doors and windows, another big part that I want to double check is making sure all my bracing is secured. We'll notice here that we have these tapcon into the floor, and so we've already taken the time to plumb these walls. And I just want to make sure that I've got all my bracing secured so when it's loaded with concrete, we're not going to have any failures tomorrow. Another important area is checking all my bulkheads. So any areas where I'm going to have block that is ending and terminating, I want to make sure that I've really got these strapped in well and that I've got everything nice and secured and glued. A few other examples, just looking at other places, you can notice a couple of bulkheads that we've secured on the top of. Another important step is making sure that we've got all of our rebar secured. Here we have a safe room that's going to be installed and so I have a decking system. So I want to come up here and make sure that I've got all of my rebar tied in and secured. So I'm also going to be checking to make sure that I have verticals in all my walls. I'm going to be looking down my walls to see where I have those cold joints and making sure that I have a rebar at every single one of those spots. I've also ensured that I have tried to tie this rebar to the top bar in as many places as I can so that I'm not going to have those bars floating around. I also want to double check my corners and make sure that I have sufficient rebar in those corners. So one other item that I'm going to be checking is making sure that I have all my embedments and hangers in place ready to go. Right here we have an example of a Simpson hanger that's going to support floor joists for the attic. Later we'll be building this gable up and so we want to make sure that we've got all of those in place so that they are ready to be concreted in. Another item that we're going to be checking is making sure we have all of our sleeves in place. This is very important, making sure that I've got all my electrical sleeves, anything related to HVAC, even internet services, things like that. I want to make sure that I've double checked and run all those items through the walls itself. I also have an example of an embedment up here on this wall. This is a place where a beam is going to be going across in a larger span. And so we have built a beam pocket to support that beam. One last item here is making sure that we put strapping over any places where we may have a joint in our wall. Right here we had a, an area where some of the block didn't quite line up. And so we worked to try to get the nailers in the right places. And so we put strapping across those spots to make sure that that's not going to pull apart in the, in the pour. 